correct your trajectory. Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome to Planet Crafter. This is a survival game on Steam that just came out of early access with its 1.0 release. If you want to check it out and or pick it up, you can use my link down in the video description below. Thank you to Midju Games for sponsoring this video and granting me early access to the full release so I can bring all of you this gameplay and talk about what the 1.0 release brings to the game as well as just the game in general for those that haven't had a chance to play it yet. First, let me say, if you already own the game, the 1.0 release is, of course, a free update for you. If not, it is on sale for 30% off right now. So, what is Planet Crafter? It is an open-world terraforming crafting game where we're dropped into a hostile planet and we're tasked with transforming the ecosystem in order to make it livable for humans. And eventually animals, which is something that's been added into the 1.0 release. Animal life... But let's not worry about the animals right now. First thing we got to do is collect these materials and not run out of oxygen. You can see in the lower left, my oxygen is depleting. Above that is my hydration and above that is my food slash health. So we're going to want to keep an eye on that as well as our task list in the upper left. These are the first things we got to do. Now, we don't have to do them in any particular order, but they are laid out in the order that makes the most sense. We want a backpack for more storage, an oxygen tank for more oxygen, and a construction chip so we can open up the build menu. Now inside the pod, we have a crafting station where we can craft these initial items. Let's open that up. And first thing we're gonna wanna make is the backpack. Let's do that. That cost us two iron. Let's throw that on. And now we got a little more inventory space. Let's go ahead and craft the oxygen tank as well. We'll throw that in our suit and that will increase our oxygen from 100 to 145. Now, for the construction chip, we're going to need another silicone and two magnesium. We'll get that stuff in a minute. You also have some storage inside your pod. They start you off with seeds, which are used to generate oxygen. We'll get into that later. You also have some food, oxygen capsules, which refill your oxygen if you're outside and you need it, and a water bottle. So, we're looking good. We can read our welcome message here, which pretty much explains the game. Welcome to your assigned planet. Your mission is to advance the terraformation process of this world. You'll need to generate oxygen, heat, and pressure in order to do that. First, reach 175,000 TI and create a blue atmosphere. That is our first major goal, is create a blue atmosphere. But that's going to take a while, so let's just focus on our first steps and get the materials we're going to need to craft this construction chip so we can start building our base. Got a storage chest over here. Let's go check it out. These are scattered around the world. There are gold ones, too. I've yet to find a gold chest, but apparently they have really good loot in them. Got some food and cobalt. I will take it. Here's magnesium. We're going to need two of these. We're always going to need iron, so... Usually grab that every chance I can. Here's another magnesium. And now we need silicone, which is right here. There we go, let's add that to our suit. And now by pressing Q, we have access to the construction menu. We've got base building items, machines, which include a crafting station, a vegetube, which is used to create oxygen. We use the seeds that we have in storage with this thing. We've got a drill, which generates pressure, a wind turbine that generates power for all of these machines, and a heater, which of course generates heat. Now, the great thing about all of these machines is they work planet-wide. No matter where you put them down, they will do their job in terraforming the planet. The wind turbine, you can put one down anywhere, and it will provide power for your machines planet-wide. I really like that feature. Information screens we'll get into, and then of course furniture, including a storage chest. So the next task on our list is craft a living compartment and a living compartment door. So we need a couple of iron and a titanium for the compartment and one iron, one titanium and one silicone for the door. We're going to need uh, another titanium. We got to bring an oxygen capsule with us, otherwise we're probably going to run out of oxygen and die. I'm going to drop a piece of iron and we'll grab one. 
Oh, you know what I can do, actually? I can use a piece of iron to craft a wind turbine. Put it down right here. And then we'll grab this, and we'll hit the road. And that wind turbine will provide power to wherever we are on the planet. I don't know if it'll continue to work once this valley becomes a lake. You know, I don't know if wind turbines work underwater, but by that time, we won't need it anyway. Now, while I make this little journey here, I'll talk about some of the additions coming to the 1.0 release, the biggest one being multiplayer co-op mode. Up to 10 players can be on a planet at once now, so that's pretty cool. You can have a lot of help, because it's a lot of work to terraform a planet. You got animal life now, like I said earlier, via DNA manipulation, so that's pretty cool. Three new biomes, new lore and endgame content, and... Uh, I think this is a pretty good place to build. We got a shipwreck up here that we can explore. This is a very centralized area of the map. This is going to be it. So, uh, let's put down a foundation first. All right, here will be good. We're running out of oxygen. Let's use our capsule before we die. Okay, now we need a compartment. Now the door. And now, some steps. Perfect. Oh, and now we can breathe. Okay, now we just build out this base, and we start putting down drills, and veget tubes, and heaters, and wind turbines, and we start terraforming this planet, baby. Now, those snap together like that, and they automatically open up on the inside like that. So, pretty sweet. Alright, where did I leave off? New lore and endgame content. On top of that, we've got new character animations. New cinematic introduction, like you guys saw at the beginning of this video. Uh, improvements and rework of existing biomes. New items to craft. New mechanics. New music tracks. And quality of life and performance improvements. So, a lot of stuff there. Uh, what's really cool is existing game files will transfer seamlessly, but they recommend that you create a new save to experience the new version fully from the beginning. And also, this is not the end of development for Planet Crafter. They have a lot of ideas for the game. They're going to continue to improve it after the 1.0 release and continue to add new content while, of course, listening to player feedback. Now we got our own crafting station. I'm make a bottle of water because I am thirsty. We got some food on us and we got more food back at the pod. We'll make a trip back there eventually. Let's put in some storage. Okay, we got a couple of drills, but now we are running low on power. So we need iron so we can make more wind turbines. But now those drills are going to begin the process of terraformation by generating pressure on the planet. There is a day and night cycle, as you can see. It never gets too dark at night. This is about as dark as it gets. And the nights don't last very long. You cannot adjust the day-night cycle, but there are things you can adjust, uh, like the terraformation pace how quickly or slowly the planet terraforms, your vital depletion, uh, meteor shower events, power consumption, all of these things can be adjusted in the settings. And speaking of terraformation, let's make a terraformation screen. Put this up on the wall here. And this will show us the progress of terraformation. Oxygen, heat, pressure, and overall terraformation of the planet. Now, we haven't done anything to create oxygen or heat yet, but the pressure is going up because we put down a couple of drills. This is our blueprint screen. It will show all of the blueprints we've yet to unlock, and they're all tied to these different categories. Oxygen, heat, pressure, and overall terraformation. And as these increase, then the blueprints will unlock. Uh, for instance, a uh, level 2 oxygen tank will unlock at 70 NPA. We're almost there. So once this hits 70, then the level 2 oxygen tank will unlock. There it is. Let's go ahead and craft it. I need one more magnesium. There's some right here. 
And now this will automatically equip since I'm already wearing an oxygen tank. Bam. And now our oxygen is at 200. I'm going to grab a couple of cobalt here so I can make an oxygen tank because we're going to go on a little expedition. We want to make sure we got some oxygen on us so we don't run out of air. There are no enemies in the game. The only thing you got to worry about is the hostile environment and not making dumb mistakes like I tend to do. <laughs> now we want to make a heater and we need iridium to do that. Iridium is not a resource you just find laying around the planet. You can find it in uh, like storage chests and in shipwrecks and stuff like that. Or you can find it in this cave right here. And since we're so close to the cave, that's where we're going to get some. Here we go. Bam. Let's get a couple more if we can. All right, that's a good, uh, that's a good start. Let's head back. See, it's a good thing I made that oxygen tank. Another option would have been to just craft a living compartment and a living compartment door right at the entrance of the cave, and then we could have just popped in there and refilled our oxygen and then proceeded into the cave. So that's always a great option, you know, when you're out exploring. Make sure you have enough resources on you to craft a living compartment and a living compartment door so you can just go inside and breathe again. Let's grab uh, titanium so we can make one more at the end here. There's our first heater, but now we are low on power. We need more iron so we can make more wind turbines. This exoskeleton will open up more space in our suit for gear. And now we want to craft a torch and a deconstruction chip. The deconstruction chip will allow us to take certain things apart. And the torch is a flashlight. We're going to need that to explore this shipwreck over here. There we go. F turns the light on and off. Let's make a water bottle too, because we are thirsty. And we got a backup one. Let's make another heater before we go explore this ship. We need a piece of iron. No iron in there, but we can get iron from taking it apart using the deconstruction tool. And here's another piece right here. making an oxygen capsule just in case. All right, let's get in this ship now. You can't explore the shipwreck until you have both a torch, so you can see, and a deconstruction chip because there's gonna be some stuff blocking your way here. Oh, we can get to this without having to deconstruct anything. I am gonna deconstruct the chest itself though for that extra piece of iron. There's another chest over here. These shipwrecks are procedurally generated, so they'll be different every time you explore them. Let's check this chest. And take what we can. Uh, these bags of seeds here, we don't really need. Not yet. Those are for the food grower, and it's going to be a little bit until we unlock that. We'll come back and get everything. A little bit at a time. And look, we're going to get home without having to use that oxygen tank. Put down a couple of veggie tubes. And once they're down, you open them up and you put inside these seeds. This one has a 200% oxygen multiplier. That's good. The higher the multiplier, the better. The more oxygen these will make. So now we are generating oxygen, heat, and pressure. Everything is going up, slowly but surely. Let's grab everything out of here and take the chest apart for a piece of iron. Let's go this way. We gotta deconstruct this. Come on. And this. We can deconstruct this heater for materials. Uh-oh. I'm dropping things, which means my inventory is full. 
Ooh, more loot. All right, we'll come back. When I have extra iron, I like to just throw down some wind turbines. We're going to need the power eventually. Now, some people are going to want to put all their wind turbines in one location and all their drills in another location. Me, personally, I'll put the stuff down wherever. I don't care, as long as it functions. See, same with the drills. I'll put them down wherever. Doesn't have to have any rhyme or reason for me. I've decided to come back to our pod to grab all the food out of here. Because it's going to be a little while still until I can craft the food grower. So I want to make sure we got plenty of food on us. We unlocked uh, level 1 solar panel, so... Uh, let's get a piece of iron and we'll get one of those crafted. Now, moving around in the early game is a little slow, but eventually we'll unlock agility boots and a jetpack, and then moving around is much faster. There's a meteor shower going on, and the meteors drop down uh, more resources for us, so that's good. I don't think they damage you, but then again, I've never been hit with one directly, so I can't say that for sure. There's a level 2 Vegetube right there. Works the same as the level 1, just makes more oxygen. Oh, I got the seeds on me that I want to use. Bam. There's a level 3 backpack, so now we got plenty of inventory space. I have not yet unlocked the level 3 oxygen tank, but we're good with the level 2. Let's get the materials we're going to need to craft a living compartment and a living compartment door. And we'll go exploring. I know, all my stuff is so unorganized. I'll get it organized eventually. Want to make sure we bring at least a couple of oxygen tanks with us. We need three iron, two titanium, and a silicone. We can get the silicone on our journey. I should eat some food before we leave. We got a storage box right here. Let's check it out. Got some seeds. Ooh, 300% oxygen multiplier. That's nice. Let's just take it apart for the extra piece of iron. And we're going to have a big old shipwreck up here. And that is what we are after. Let's get close and we'll put down a living compartment. And we could even start working on a second base in this area. You know, there's no reason why you shouldn't put down wind turbines and put down veget tubes and drills and heaters all over the place. They all work together in terraforming the planet, so you don't have to put all your stuff in one centralized location, you know? Oh, the silicone. I forgot to get silicone. Here we go. That's lucky. Okay. Nice. Let's put down storage. It's going to be a lot of loot in here. So we'll store everything and we'll bring back to our main base whatever we deem to be the most important. It wasn't that long of a trip to get here though, so, uh, you know, we can go back and forth. It's going to be easy to get turned around in here, so let's try not to. Lots of food. I guess I'll grab some. We're building up our oxygen levels pretty good, so we should unlock a food grower soon, actually. Here's some rare stuff. Super alloy, a bioplastic nugget, and uranium. A lot of iron. Got uh, more bags of food right here. Oh, my deconstruction tool is on. You can't grab things when that is on. We got a rocket engine. I don't know what that's for. I imagine a rocket. <laughs> that's probably what it's for. I think we can build a rocket at some point. I don't know if the ultimate goal is to uh, escape the planet after you uh, finish terraforming it. I don't know. 
I, I haven't had the chance to play this game long enough to even get to uh, Blue Skies yet. So I'm looking forward to uh, getting there and achieving that and seeing what's next. Um, here, this one has a 400% oxygen multiplier. That's going to help. Okay, give me that rocket engine, and let's head back to the base. But we got a nice little outpost right there, and we can continue to build on that when we come back. Level 3 oxygen tank, 280 our oxygen levels are at now. That's nice. Don't have to worry about that so much. We also unlocked this progress screen. Let's get that crafted. I need a couple of silicone. So this is going to show us the progress towards the next stage of terraformation, which is blue sky. We are currently 6.5% of the way there, so we got a long way to go. But it's constantly ticking up, slowly, but the more drills and heaters and vegetubes we add, the quicker that will advance. And like I said earlier, if it's too slow for your liking, you can always adjust that in the settings. I wanted to show you guys this. There are areas around the map that are blocked off, like this right here is blocked off with ice. But once we get to a certain level of heat, this starts melting. And then this area becomes open for us and we can go and explore inside of it. So the map changes, obviously, as the terraformation process advances. All right, let's get some more iridium and get out of here. There's our food grower. And we can put a bag of seeds in there and start growing our own food. We need more power. But we can get a few of those crafted, load them up with seeds, and we won't have to worry about food anymore. Now, we just unlocked a beacon, and that is uh, the last thing I want to show you guys here before I wrap this up. We need titanium and a piece of silicone to craft this thing. Here we go. I don't think jumping makes you move faster, but I feel like it does, so I like to do that. Now, we could put this beacon down anywhere we want, but I'm going to put it down near our base, and I'll show you what it does. It makes that little mark there, and that stays on the screen no matter where you go on the planet, so you can always find your way back home or back to the beacon, wherever you choose to put it down. And now with the deconstruction tool, you can always take it apart if you don't want it there anymore. Matter of fact, you can deconstruct every single thing you craft in the game and get your resources back for that. So that's pretty cool. So, in a nutshell, that is Planet Crafter. You have to terraform a planet using drills to create pressure, vegetubes to create oxygen, and heaters to create heat. And then eventually you create biomass, animals, and such. Uh, and it gets a lot more, you know, complex than what you see here. There are a lot more recipes to unlock, a lot more things to craft. And uh, I'm looking forward to exploring all of those things myself, because like I said, I am just starting now to get into this game. Uh, like I said earlier, if you guys want to check it out or pick it up for yourself, you can use my link down in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. You guys are the best. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more, and I will catch you guys in the next video.